Jesus says, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. There are two simple things that Jesus says in Matthew 4, and then three things he did. The first thing he said was, change your minds, change your hearts, change your attitudes, because the rule of God has come. The reign of God has come to the earth. It was a radical proclamation and a radical declaration because of this news. Because of this news that change had come to the world, the people of the world were called to change as well. The second thing Jesus says is, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I'll make you fishermen in this movement. Uh, gathering people, calling people under God's reign and capturing them alive for real life. In other words, just as I said to you, follow me, I'll teach you how to do the same thing and people really will follow you. I'll, I'll do that in your life. I'm paraphrasing, of course. The things he did that Matthew describes in that short passage uh, were to teach, to proclaim, and to heal. And today, we're going to focus just on those two words, follow me. Jesus showed up on the shore. He showed up where the fishermen were. He knew that he would find someone he was looking for there. He had already considered the demographic from which he would choose to be fishers, fishers of men. There they were. The dregs of society were there, the rough the tumble, the hard-driven, crusty, foul-mouthed working men. Among these, Jesus would find some disciples. Why? What could he see in men like that? How could they be qualified to be disciples of this rabbi? But Jesus saw them. He sees them. In them, he saw them. Potential, and he saw more than potential. He saw all that they could become. He saw all that they would become. He saw what was already in their hearts. He knew how to motivate them. Jesus knew the words that would get their attention. He knew their longings. He knew their frustrations. He knew their dreams. He knew the desire that they had for significance. He knew how to call them. There was never a recruiter like Jesus. When Jesus spoke, several of these men listened, not all of them, but the ones he had chosen, the ones he was calling. This was part of the miracle that Jesus knew. Jesus knew who needed him. Jesus knew who he needed the ones who would follow needed no long argument. They needed no long persuasion. They just needed the call. And that's what he gave them. All it took was Jesus' look. It was simple. It was compelling. And in that invitation was hope and possibility. In English, follow me is two words. Follow me, follow me, follow me, and I will transform you from men who fish for men, men who fish for people. That's what I'll trans, that's what I will transform you into. I will create from you a great people movement. And that's what the kingdom of God is. It's a movement characterized by the reign of God. It's a movement that is constantly attracting men and women to join and to follow. Jesus still knows where to go to find the people. The people who will find the people, who will find the people, who will call the people to follow him. He knows 
and he's still in the business of doing that. Perhaps he's calling you today. Will you say yes? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So follow me. I will follow. Bless you.